Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your foam cannon. Uh, there was a request for it under one of my videos, and then I was thinking about it and I thought that it might not be as obvious as one might think. So why not? Let's make one video about All right, the first important thing to show is that these foam cannons usually have 900 mil or one thousand mil or one liter uh, containers this one it has like a one liter container so 1000 milliliters but it doesn't mean that you always have to fill it to the top because usually like half of it is enough for a normal car so what you could do if you want to fill it to max then you do you use half of it and then you put aside the uh, leftover and then you can use it for the next wash however i wouldn't recommend i would say best way is to um, rather mix just half a portion so only only make like 500 mils of mixture you use it and next time you can make another mixture it takes a minute or less another important thing which is obvious to me but might not be obvious to all that in some cases maybe the pickup pipe is either missing or not attached correctly so you always make sure that your pickup pipe is attached to the top otherwise obviously now i just put it next to but obviously what what would it take if there is no pipe in the container it couldn't uh, pick up the mixture okay the next important point is that it has a dial on the top and mo in most cases there is like a plus minus you can set the thickness of the foam with this dial it might not be the best idea you know to have the thickest like shaving foam like uh, foam that stays on the car and nothing happens but it also not a good idea it, it is also not a good idea if you just have a very thin foam you spray it on and it goes off straight away so you need somewhere balanced um, you need something that is thick enough to stay a bit on the panel but also thin enough to slowly but um, nicely just go down the panel and grab all the dirt with and the other important topic is that uh, here at the nozzle you can set also how wide it should be i hope it can focus on it maybe not but anyway yep so you can set this fan size and or fan size and then on some not on all but at the back when you grab it and you turn then you can choose the angle of the fan one more important point and i think this is one of the most important that some people are under the impression when uh, the manufacturer of the shampoo says that you need one to nine then it means that for example in this case you would need 100 milliliters of shampoo and 900 milliliters of water but that's incorrect um, one to nine would mean that first of all you need to check how much water output is on your pressure washer together with your foam cannon because it, uh, this water uh, throughout or output is different uh, by each foam cannon too or by using each foam cannon too i will leave in the uh, description two links two videos where i measure the output how can you check on yours and if you watch that one you will know what to do and how to calculate it so it might be uh, very much possible that for example a one to nine dilution would mean that you need to use like uh, uh, let's say 300 milliliters of shampoo and 600 milliliters of water or whatever one more very important thing before i forget when you remove the adapter from all the foam cannons uh, there is a orifice inside uh, maybe it's visible now there is an orifice inside if you have a high powered pressure washer then you need to use the 1.25 millimeter um, 
orifice. If you have a low power or these cheap pressure washers, then you need the 1.1 millimeter orifice in order to be able to have uh, a nicer foam. First, I'm going to play with the dial on the top, then I'm going to play with the uh, fan. Alrighty, well, I hope that what I wanted to show came through, but of course you need to play along uh, with the settings yourself, with your foam cannon or foam lens, with your pressure washer and so on and so on. Um, obviously, the quantity and the quality of the snow foam, not the snow, the snow foam, or the foam, depends on what kind of shampoo you use. Maybe you use twice as much from one shampoo than from another, and it's still not as foamy as the one that you only use half of it. Um, so that's a big difference. Also, another important point is that um, if you put hot water in the container, then you can get a better foam. If there is hot water going through your pressure washer, again, you get even better foam. But you need to keep in mind that these pressure washers can handle usually between 40 to 60 degrees, depending on the pressure washer. So always best to check. And another point, if you use hard water, then obviously all these orifices and pipes and whatever might clog up with lime scale in due course. And of course, the hard water makes the shampoo less foamy. And if you use soft water, then of course it's even foamier and uh, obviously there is less chance for the uh, pipes and orifice and whatever nozzle to clog up with lime scale. And one more important thing, after each use, when you finished foaming, uh, just like you've seen at the very end, um, I run for a few seconds, like clear water through. You can even put some in the container, some uh, clear water or clean water. Um, and just run it through to ensure that there is no soap residue on whatever left in your foam cannon. Anyhow, uh, check out the links that I posted in the description. And that concludes this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.